Jennifer Garner is dating Cali Group CEO John Miller. They are casually dating but it's not serious. He hasn't met her kids, the source adds. Garner, 46, shares Violet, 12, Serafina, 9, and Samuel, 6 with ex-husband Ben Affleck. The news comes shortly after Garner and Affleck finalized their divorce three years after announcing they were ending their 10-year marriage in June 2015. The former couple began dating in 2004 and married in June 2005 before simultaneously filing for divorce in April 2017. Miller, 40 was also previously married before filing for divorce from celebrity violinist Carolyn Campbell in 2011. He and Campbell are parents to two school-age children, a daughter and a son. The businessman is CEO and chairman of holding company Cali Group. The company owns the Cali Burger chain, which boasts a special robotics technique that flips burger patties. A source previously told People recently that the actress was back in the dating pool after making the divorce official earlier this month. Jen has been wanting to move on and now when the divorce is finalized, she finally can, a source said. She has had no choice but to be patient since Ben needed to finish his rehab treatment. But she was ready to sign the papers. Jen doesn't want to be single for the rest of her life, so she is open to dating. The insider added, she has been on dates, but it seems she isn't serious about a guy. As always, she is mostly focused on her kids and her job. Garner and Affleck have continued to spend time as a family and co-parent after they officially filed for divorce almost two years after announcing their separation in 2015. They recently took the kids to see Hello, Dolly! on Broadway in mid-July, starring family friend Victor Garber and spent Easter together in Hawaii where Affleck was filming. Affleck was previously linked to Saturday Night Live producer Lindsay Shookus, 38, for a just over a year before splitting over the summer. The Oscar winner was then linked to 22-year-old Playboy model Shauna Sexton for two months before calling it quits earlier this month.